Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Boardsy, and this is going to be a review of the Razer Death Adder V2 Pro. I'm sure some of you guys have seen my palm grip videos where I talk about this mouse, but now I'm going to take a step back and review the mouse as a whole. And also, in this video, I'm going to put some gameplay in, so let me know what you guys think of that. And no, I'm not going to fucking play Valorant. So once again, make sure to let me know what you think, unless of course that thought is to play Valorant, all other thoughts are valid. Um, so if you've had the Death Adder in the past, like I had with the Elite, you might have just fucking hated it. Um, for me, I know my hands were a bit smaller, I did not have the Chad 20 by 11 hands that are needed to grip a behemoth of a mouse like this. Um, and also just the weight and the, like, everything about the old Death Adders fucking suck, at least in my opinion. And the Death Adder V2 Pro only weighs 87 grams which is honestly kind of fucking crazy because the old versions of the Death Adder weighed like at, was it like around 110, 105 grams? So seeing them like shave down the weight so much and making it wireless, it's pretty sick. Um, you can get the wired version. It's a bit cheaper. Um, the Razer Speedflex cable really isn't the best though. Um, so I, if you're going to get the fucking new Death Adders, I would go with the Pro just to get the wireless. Um, obviously, everything with the wireless has been great. I did have that weird copy that had the disconnecting issue. Um, but I think that was actually a problem with my USB hub looking back on it. Um, my bad for accusing Razer of putting some uh, like spyware in their mouse or whatever I said. And there have been some features of this mouse that I've been praising, but one thing that I absolutely fucking despise are these clicks. These are literally the mushiest mouse clicks I've ever felt. Back a few weeks ago when I reviewed the WMO from fucking 2002, those clicks felt significantly better than this. These are the V2 switch of the Razer Opticals, and man, it is just the mushiest, weakest, dullest, most pathetic, terrible click experience perceivable on a mouse. Oh, wait, there's two DPI buttons if I did not mention already. That is really fucking awesome. And something about the button design of the Death Adder is fucked past the point of return, so I guess, like, it's just generally accepted that this is how the click feels on the mouse. And, uh, it's terrible, it's mushy, it is extremely light. Um, personally, I was, like, have it took me a while to adjust to I'm sure, like, if I were to main the Death Adder for, like, three years, yeah, I would get used to it. But just initially switching, um, having super light clicks with literally no feedback, it's like, holy shit. I will say, though, that these comfort grooves on the mouse, though they are, like, very fucking aggressive, for my hands, they fit perfectly. It literally dictates my fingers, tells them where to go, and it is a good place. You know, sometimes aggressive mouse shapes are just smarter than you are. Um, they understand what your hand wants to do better than you know what your hand wants to do. Um, but next, I guess I'll talk about the build quality. I have had two copies of this mouse, and both of them have been fucking, like, perfect, like, very strong builds um, obviously razor is able to shave off a ton of useless weight um, and not really make any like structural compromises um, and there's like no flexing no rattling like man this mouse is just solid as expected and just going back to the buttons for a second, I don't want it to seem like I'm over-exaggerating. As somebody who's tried basically, like, every mouse and, like, so many different fucking clicks, um, this has to be up there with, like, some of the worst button feel I've ever felt. Um, the scroll wheel, it actually, it feels a bit different than the Viper Ultimate. Definitely tensioned a bit, like, looser. Um, but it's still, like, a rigid wheel. Good to find steps. Um, but it doesn't feel like there's a lot of resistance when you try to scroll. It's honestly, like, one of the best wheels on the Viper line, I'd say. Um, and the click is uh, pretty easy to activate. These side buttons also pretty fucking amazing. If your hands are big enough, if you have like really tiny hands, you're gonna definitely struggle to reach them, or at least I would presume so. Um, but for me, with larger hands, whether I claw grip or palm the mouse, I can still uh, hit the side buttons with ease. And I guess to talk about grips on this mouse, I did just mention that I can claw it, but it is really just not comfortable. I can never get a solid grip of it. Um, one reason I think is just this insane fucking flare on the left side of the mouse. Um, it just really fucks up my thumb positioning and I can never get anything comfortable. 
And maybe if my hands were a bit wider, I'd be able to pull off the grip I want to. But I feel like unless you super aggressive claw, this just isn't like a great shape for claw. Um, if you palm grip, I do agree that this is probably one of the best shapes. Um, I understand why it gets so much hate. And I understand there is like the fucking meme of like some like little 10 year old using this mouse. And obviously a 10 year old should not be using such a gigantic mouse. Like look at it compared to the fucking super light, which is by no means a small mouse mouse i'm sure it's not really news to anybody that yes the death adder is fucking big um, but as somebody with large hands trying to transition to become a palm gripper um this is honestly the easiest mouse for me to palm grip and if you saw my palm grip videos you would know that like of all of the mice in my collection i can palm grip very few so it is a testament to the size and the like intention of the shape that I am able to palm grip it. And if you do have like really tiny hands, just don't fucking get it. And if you think the Death Adder V2 Mini is good, oh God, just don't even make me think of that mouse. Um, but yeah, I know that a ton of people still use this mouse, like a surprising amount. Like there's a lot of closeted Death Adder users, but shit, they're still fucking using it. And I do think that if you have one of the, like, fucking three-plus-year-old Death Adders, just do yourself a favor, treat yourself to a fucking Death Adder V2, either the Wired one or the Pro Edition, because you will definitely enjoy it. Um, another major change, I guess, from the old ones is the feet. Um, these are the Razer PTFE feet. You don't get any replacements in the box. They glide all right. Um, it honestly seems like they broke in and got slower. Um, this is on a extremely dirty artisan zero so it may not be the actually no it probably is because most of you fuckers are using like qck's um so you can see if you have a dirty cloth pad it's really not gonna glide that fast um i'm honestly surprised i'm even getting a full spin earlier i was getting like half can we get two that was definitely two uh 1.5 oh that was like three but in general, I would say that these stock feet are passable. You can see that they are decently thick. Um, but if you do like get this mouse and you really enjoy it, there's no reason not to get aftermarket feet and just make the mouse feet better. It's that fucking simple. Um, they have the sensor ring, presumably for a LOD and DPI deviation. Um, no, no issues with either of those. And I guess I'll talk about how I played with the shape. Um, for one, since the mouse is just like very wide and large, I was fucking dog shit at like reactive tracking that's already like one of my weaknesses um but tracking like fast moving targets like constantly snapping directions it was just like really tedious with this mouse um actually that's not even the right word it was just fucking painful and that is at least my experience and whenever i notice that like with a new mouse or something that a specific what the fuck is wrong with me that a specific part of my aim is lacking um i usually go into kovacs and work on exactly that and with the death adder even after raising my sense using it on multiple different days i feel like my reactive tracking was just never as good as it was like with something like the super light um i was definitely a lot smoother with the death adder which is something i feel like isn't really talked about enough um like you are very likely to be a lot fucking shakier with super small mice um like the m1k which is going to be a next mouse i review i'll go into detail about that and i'll be honest and i'll say my experience with this mouse is fucking weird because i ordered it expecting really not to like it just hoping that it would be a decent shape for palm and it turned out to be exactly that and it gave me like a sort of new perspective on the death adder because i just kind of ruled it out like i was like oh razor did a death adder refresh who fucking cares um but they did make it feel significantly better um this button design it is cursed like i said before and it is horrendous nothing is changing that um but if you like try to move past that just accept that the clicks are gonna feel like shit the rest of the mouse isn't really too bad I, I don't like recommend it to anybody but using it myself it really was not too bad so no seal of approval um but it, better than i thought um award and also the mouse feet do look like a sort of like fucked up smiley face you know with the nose and everything um also it has the grips on the side i don't think the standard wired version has it um these are the same grips as the viper ultimate but they don't feel like it. it's like something about them like in practice they don't feel the exact same i kind of wish they weren't there but not as much as i do on the viper ultimate if that makes sense um but yeah hopefully i covered everything make sure to leave a like and sub if you enjoyed and yeah peace let me know what you guys think